Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a zigzag LED chaser circuit. In this chaser circuit, LEDs turn on and off, back and forth in a zigzag pattern. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload a new video. These are my other channels, do subscribe them as well. And you can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Component list, circuit diagram, everything is in the description below. To make this chaser circuit, I have used 10 LEDs. To make the zigzag effect, first we need to turn on LED number 1, then LED number 7, then LED number 3, then LED number 9, and then LED number 5. After that, we need to turn on LED number 10, then LED number 4, then LED number 8, then LED number 2, and then LED number 6. And this pattern keeps repeating again and again to make a zigzag back and forth movement. So we need to turn 10 LEDs one by one. For that, I'm gonna use CD4017IC. If you want to know more about CD4017IC, you can watch my previous video which is about CD4017IC. You can find its link in the description below and on the top of the screen. So as we know, when CD4017IC receives a clock signal, its output turns on and off in a sequence. So we need to connect the LEDs at the output of CD4017IC. Now we need a clock signal. To generate a clock signal, I'm gonna use 555 timer IC. Now let's make the LED chaser circuit. These are all the components we're gonna need for this project. First, I'm gonna connect CD4017IC and connect its pin number 8, 13 and 15 to ground and its pin number 16 to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect 555 timer IC and connect its pin number 1 to ground, its pin number 4 and 8 to positive supply, its pin number 3 to pin number 14 of CD4017IC and its pin number 2 and 6 together. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k trim pot and connect its one side pin and center pin to pin number 6 of 555 timer IC and connect its other side pin to pin number 7 of 555 timer IC. After that, connect a 10 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to pin 2 of 555 timer IC and its negative pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect 10 LEDs and connect their cathode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of first LED and its other pin to pin number 11 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of second LED and its other pin to pin number 2 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of third LED and its other pin to pin number 6 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of fourth LED and its other pin to pin number 7 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of fifth LED and its other pin to pin number 1 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 6th LED and its other pin to pin number 10 of CD4017IC. 
After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 7th LED and its other pin to pin number 5 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 8th LED and its other pin to pin number 4 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 9th LED and its other pin to pin number 9 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to anode of 10th LED and its other pin to pin number 3 of CD4017IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 100 microfarad capacitor and connect its positive pin to positive supply and its negative pin to ground. So we have completed all the connections. Now let's test the project. So that's it for today's video. I hope you have enjoyed this video. For more videos like that, stay tuned and I will see you in the next video.